thought you guys would like to listen. This is just when I'm bored, I mess around and record cover songs. <laughs> so, felt like uh, recording little uh, Lou Reed there. So, um, wanted to um, just quickly touch base. First of all, hello, everyone. Um, Wanted to touch base and uh, give a huge shout out to uh, Jeremy, uh, who is the graphic artist for this uh, quite nice um, pick company in rock apparel and jewelry and accessories. Um, sinister. Pretty awesome. So, uh, and Jeremy reached out to me and... Um, Gave me, uh, sent me off. He told, he heard me talking about guitar picks and uh, told me that they make guitar picks. So uh, he was kind enough, and, and the good folks over at um, Sinister sent me over some sample picks. Um, and so I really, really put the abuse to them today. Um, First of all, I gotta say they, they they sent over like I said this, this is this is uh, the card that uh, that they sent it over on um, the first pick they gave me. Um, well, I think I put it on my guitar over there, but um, it was a uh, tape to this, which was really cool, and uh, so I immediately you know felt it felt really nice. It's exactly what I used the one point one four. And, um, but they also sent me some cool swag. I uh, got a cool sticker, which is always good for the guitar cases, or in my case, I like putting them on a pedal board case. Um, they also sent really cool, which I thought was way cool, uh, sweatbands. Haven't worn sweatbands in a long time, so when I saw this, and especially the cool graphic on there, uh, I was like, yeah, that's way cool. I'm definitely going to wear those. Uh, again in some uh, and a pocket which is, is really really cool um for your guitar pick so i thought that was kind of cool so that way you don't lose them uh, i usually put them in my mouth so um and uh then they then they i got really cool dog tag too now those of you who've been following deliverance for quite a while deliverance were one of the very first bands back in 1989 90 to do dog tags um, we did it with the Deliverance logo, but this is like heavy duty and, and just really, really, really nice. I got, I got to just have to, have to do a close up on that. Um, I just think it's a really cool, um, emblem and, uh, very heavy duty. It's very nice. Um, and everything came packaged very well, very nicely. Uh, and then I, I got this little package right here, but I, I already took the picks out. But you got to look at the graphics on this, I mean, which is really cool. There's an iron cross on this one, which I thought was way cool because I actually have uh, the exact iron crosses on one of my guitar straps, um, um, which were actually from uh, a German soldier's outfit. Uh, the, the, you, know, you have to screw it in from the back so it's really cool uh, I liked this graphic too um, with the V and the little skull guy in there uh, but uh, I like it in purple kind of thin uh, when I was playing with it first I, I didn't know if these were deco or uh, you know like you know you know people use them for decorations or, or put them on earrings or something um, but you know I, I read online they, they make metal guitar picks so I used them I uh, used one of them. This one kind of was a little bendy, but the graphic, again, really cool. Love the orange color. Um, just thought it was neat. I, I really liked uh, how they are. Wasn't a big fan of using these. Um, Got to be honest with you. These particular, the metal picks. The metal picks. Um, but um, I, I have to say this, uh, and it's not because, you know, I mean, a lot of people, you know, gratis me um different types of, of of products so it's not because these guys sent me some cool swag or anything else that I'm, I'm i'm complimenting them um it 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 really is because this is a pretty fabulous pick 
Um, they call it the blackout series. So 1.14, the exact one I, I use, and you know, then they have the sinister uh, logo, which I'd really, really love to see uh, either a Deliverance logo or a Jupiter 6 logo on there. So maybe we'll talk, because uh, I like them in black too, instead of the purple. Okay, on to the pick review. Uh, I really, really um, put the screws to this pick today. Um, just played, 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 played for at least two hours um, and switched between three different guitars, um, different gauge strings. Um, my Les Paul has 11s on it right now and uh, my uh, Midtown um, hollow body, semi hollow body has uh, 10s on it and then there's 10s on my Strat. Wimpy th between all three. Um, and uh, like I said, I played for a good two hours. So uh, usually the, the purple Dunlop 1.14, um, they get pretty chewed up within a couple of hours. I'm, I'm a heavy right-hand player, and I use my pick in odd, uh, odd shapes, odd forms, and everything else. So, And this stood up to the abuse. Uh, I'm probably going to get, you know, I would imagine, you know, with with what I've seen, just you know, several several more hours. You know, I was I told you guys last time I was quite impressed with the prime tones uh, because they've just stood up to every beating. Where like you know, look, this was playing for like you know, um, maybe twenty minutes, and it already just you know beveled in. It's already starting to eat away, and that was for the Altex. I like the way they sound and they feel, but they they just eat away too quick. So. And the 1.14 is just as bad, so the purple Tolex. <clears throat> That's why I uh, have bags of them. I mean, literally. You know, I, I always order, you know, a, a gross, which is 144. Um, so, I mean, I've got bags of them. When I say that, I've got bags of them. I've got bags of them. Uh, just like, you know, when I order bags of, you know, these prime tones, I, you know, I order, you know, I order a, a full bag, you know, from Dunlop, you know, I, I want to make sure to get my, get my money's worth when you buy a discount, buy bulk, get a discount. So, but, um, all that to say this, these guys at Sinister know what they're doing because I don't know what the pick is made of. Um, I don't know if it's the same material or if they've got their own specific design. I, I didn't look at the website. I, I, I didn't want to be won over by words. I wanted to just, you know, just like I didn't read any of the, the you know, I read some of the stuff, uh, but I, I didn't want to really read it and I didn't want to be run up, won over by words. I wanted to, you know, actually try the product out itself. And it stood, it stood uh, through really nicely. So I'm definitely digging Sinister Picks. Um, so I am going to be ordering some sinister picks, hopefully talk to them about maybe some, um, uh, custom graphics too, cause, uh, those are always cool to have. And since I, um, have two bands, Deliverance and, uh, also Jupiter six, um, I, I, you know, you can always use picks with, uh, the logos and stuff. If anything, just for our own edification, so we feel special when we're playing. <laughs> anyway, so um, I I, I want to thank Joseph. Uh, I, I got his business card also. He provided two business cards, which I thought was really cool in the pack. Uh, he's the president and CEO in sales. Um, so that was really, really cool. Um, but good stuff. Sinister, you're making... Uh, hell of a pick because this pick is really really cool. Uh, like I said, it's it it put up my, with my beating um, on it today. So uh, you definitely got a new customer with me. Um, so long as I don't have to pay retail. <laughs> um, so um, not asking for for free. I'm not asking for a gratis. But um, but I, I hate paying retail. I mean, even if I get a penny off, I'm cool. Um, and uh, again, thank you for the cool swag. Um, nice sweatband there. Uh, like I said, haven't worn one of these in a long time. So uh, with this cool graphic on there, it's making me feel Joe Metal and want to get all metaled out and wear my uh, wristband. 
and also have my pick in there. So, Jeremy, Joseph over at Sinister, guys, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm a real good spokesperson. Anyways, I, I got to tell you, you guys are making a great pick. Uh, love your jewelry, too. I'm, I'm actually, I am a silverware. I don't know if it'll fit over my big head, but, um, oh yeah, sure did. So, uh, definitely thank you for the swag. Um, but, uh, and it'll be used. Trust me. It'll be used. Uh, but more importantly, thanks for making an awesome pick because, uh, I really, really dug it and, uh, I'm going to continue. I, I, you guys sent me two, so I'm going to put in an order for some more. So let's talk soon, guys. If you're a guitar player out there, I highly urge you, go to SinisterGuitarPicks.com um, and, and check them out. I mean, if anything, you know, oh, just, you know, order yourself two or three picks. Um, I don't know if they do samples for everybody. I'm sure they do. Any good business would. Um, but I would definitely, definitely uh, check these guys out. They're worth checking out. Uh, I'm sure they make a ton of other you know, gauge picks, you know, 1.14 is just my preference, but, um, not only do they have a cool look, they make a good product, and if you're a metal pick enthusiast, I mean, they do make these, I mean, they are really cool looking, it's just not my forte to use a metal edged pick, so, um, Jimmy Brown signing off here at Three Frog Studio, I'm pretty excited, my brother's coming into town tomorrow, uh, I haven't seen him for almost a year now, um, since, uh, moving back to, uh, the, the great state of Alabama from California and, um, it's going to be nice, nice seeing him, nice visit with him. Um, and, uh, we'll be probably here in the studio, uh, doing a little jamming, maybe some recording, maybe. Um, but again, Jeremy, Jonathan, thank you so much. Um, and, uh, I hope you enjoyed my my little review of sinister guitar picks because it's good stuff maybe i'll actually do a playing demo too but uh and i'm hoping you guys actually sell this stuff too because this stuff's really cool and guys uh you know i'm i'm a stickler for quality and you know this is a nice sweatband um this is a really really nice uh, medallion I mean, so definitely into it so check them out sinister guitar picks Dot com. And this is Jimmy signing out. <laughs> Take care and we'll see you soon. I don't know. It might be a week because I'm going to be hanging out with my brother, having dinner, uh, drinks, and laughing, and um, puffing white smoke. <laughs> All right. See you soon.